Hi, it's Julie from Artful You, and we are going to be continuing our large abstract today. So let's go. Okay, great. Okay, so I'm going to do my dominant mountain in the front. I'm just gonna get rid of that green. I don't really like it. I might, I might do it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick to my original color palette with the yellow ochre and the crimson and black and white, and then we'll go from there. So, because I don't like the green mountain, I'm gonna paint over it with a crimson red and a little tiny bit of yellow ochre. This is what I like about the tape. You can kind of, you don't need to worry about being neat and tidy. For the mountain in the background, I'm going to just use pure yellow ochre. So Jane, this is what I mean about just don't worry about where things are going to overlap right now. I'm just blocking out the whole shape. There's going to be lots of other shapes on top of this, but right now I'm just blocking it out. So literally you can see the wood for the trees. Right. But I, I, I feel in my head, I need to have that understanding of where I want to overlap. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm working on right now, yeah, taking yeah. my original design and transposing it somewhat. That's good, yeah. Yeah, I think I trans, you know, I did transpose some of it, but I didn't worry about the whole thing and the little, little tiny details, you know. Right, but I wanna make sure I've got my, like, do I have to worry about number of shapes and all that? No. Okay. As long as, as, long as you've got good balance and, and we can fix that later if it doesn't read right. All right, I'm going rogue then. Yeah, go rogue. <laughs> go for it. I love it. I love it. I love it when you go rogue. So um, I am just mixing in a very small amount of red into my yellow ochre, just to warm it up a little bit.
The next thing I'm going to do is place a third mountain in between my two mountains. The colours that I'm going to be using are red again with a little bit of yellow ochre to bridge the gap between the mountain in the foreground and the yes, mountain in the background. So the one thing I wanted to incorporate into my design was the strings of the guitar. I decided to put them in the mountain. I'm still considering whether this was a good move. I may decide to paint them out. I'm just going to live with it for a few days, leave it on my mantelpiece and decide if I like it or not. But that's the beauty of acrylic. If you don't like something, you can just paint over it.
So I did actually lie this on the ground because I was struggling to do the line straight um, on the easel. So I um, didn't record that bit because it was out of camera shot. Um, not sure how I feel about the lines. So I'm going to live with it, see if I like it later on. Um, I did put a line down the neck of the guitar, which again, I might take out. Um, and I did do a slight colour adjustment with the background in the top right hand corner. Um, but pretty much feel like it's done. I say I'm going to live with the lines, see if I like them. I can always take them out later. So that concludes our fourth week of our abstract course. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments section. And I look forward to painting with you again.